Well, I, I think some of the attributes that, that make uh, the U.S. system uh, unique or uh, different, perhaps, um, is the flexibility that's offered. Um, you can come here without a, an academic major in mind or a, a specialization and have time to explore your options before you have to decide. You can change your plans. You may arrive thinking you want to be an engineer and realize you want to do music, um, and you can make that change. Or you can do two different things. You can be an engineer who also studies music. So you're not limited um, in what you study. Uh, you have flexibility to explore options. Um, most U.S. colleges and universities will require you to take courses in different academic disciplines. And we do that so that you learn different perspectives and can address an issue um, from, from those perspectives. At Ithaca, for example, we have an integrated core curriculum. So instead of asking students to take a course in humanities and a course in arts and a course in social sciences, we do that by asking them to identify a theme. So they might look at power as a theme, uh, and they'll learn to, uh, through a scientific course, through an arts or humanities course, and other courses in different disciplines to study that issue from different perspectives. So it's not just a menu of classes, but it's a theme um, that really connect. Um, so you're learning that perspective in a way that impacts on that theme. Um, so it, you know, different institutions do that differently, but I think the, the concept of exploring different areas, um, and again, what it helps a student do is to learn to understand how different people think and how they might approach different issues and problems, and that there's not just one answer. Oftentimes, there are multiple answers to a question or a situation, and you really need to work together to come up with the ideal solution.